Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem nine in chapter twenty-seven. Chapter twenty-seven is about magnetism. So there, we need to calculate magnetic force on a current carrying circular loop of wires. And this wire, just some part is in magnetic field, and some part is not. As we know, this magnetic force on current is acted by magnetic field, right? So we just need to look at the wire from this point to there, 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 and soon to this part. Agree? So now it looks a little bit difficult, but I think we can solve it together. As we can see, the magnetic force is I L cross B, right? This force is the Vector and the L can write as a vector and the B can write as the vector. As we can see, this B just a dot. A dot tell us this magnetic field has come out. Do you agree? Come out. So come out. You can see this is x direction. This is y direction. Come out. It become k direction. So you can see B not k. Do you agree? So we write it there. And then. The L changes all the time. You can see how can you determine its direction? Wait, we have a way. We can cut this wire by infinity, uh, infinity uh, samples, right? So just this is a small section. We cut it. This is a small section. We can consider as a DL. Agree? So the force, a magnetic force on this small fraction, we can see is a DF. Right, so DF equal to I times DL cross B. Right, now how can you decide the DL? One thing, so the arc length for this one is R times D theta. Agree, because we can consider this is a D theta. So arc length is the radius times angle. So R D theta. You can see this L just in this direction. We can project it in X direction and the Y direction. Do you agree? So project in x direction this way and this way. So now you have negative cosine theta plus sine theta j i. Agree? Yes. Now you use the DL cross B and put it inside, and then simplify it. You get the function look like this one. You can see this is diffraction of a force with the diffraction of the theta. So you can do integral at both sides. So integral at the left side is f and the right side d theta from theta naught to two pi minus theta naught because this is a mirror symmetry. This angle is also theta naught, right? So when it read from zero to zero at this boundary line, it is two pi minus theta naught, and then do the calculation, get a final answer there. Thank you.